History recounts that in 1979, the Deep Space Probe Voyager 1 sent back amazing images of Jupiter, revealing for the first time to humanity that the gas giant had a ring of its own. Now to most this came as a shock, but not to all. For a small group of scientists studying consciousness, this was confirmation of what had already been observed. How? Because a gifted psychic named Ingo Swan focused his extrasensory vision on Jupiter, recording amazing details about the planet. How is this possible? Let's explore consciousness. Ingo was regarded as the pioneer of the mind science remote viewing. His work in the 70s with parapsychologist Dr. Hal Puthoff at the Stanford Research Institute revolutionized our understanding of extrasensory perception. Generally defined as a process whereby the mind can see an object unseen by the human eye, here's just a small list of what Ingo and his colleagues achieved. They located and described secret Soviet missile bases. They located secret American military bases, describing these in stunning detail and getting into a bit of trouble for doing so. Correctly describe the weather in cities that were thousands of miles away. Describe the contents of letters inside unopened sealed envelopes. Found multiple missing people with only a photograph or name. And found the ring of Jupiter before NASA discovered it. This last achievement was spectacular. Let's go back to 1973 where Ingo and his colleagues were working on remote viewing research. Ingo felt inspired to recommend that he target Jupiter to compare his conscious explorations to the hard data NASA's probes would soon be delivering. I refer to both the Pioneer and Voyager missions. The idea was strongly resisted, but Ingo, who admits to being a stubborn man, stuck to his guns, threatening to quit the program if the project didn't go ahead. The research team finally agreed, and off they went. To quote Ingo, the thrill of the idea was to psychically get to Jupiter before the NASA vehicles did. A kind of psychic one-upmanship. Ingo and his colleagues designed this project strictly, ensuring the data couldn't later be challenged. In controlled lab settings, Ingo sat down and with his highly developed sensors, reached out to encounter the gas giant Jupiter. To quote Swan, The trip and the sightseeing there were awesome experiences. This is the kind of inspired aesthetic impact that can inspire one for many years. While in this deep conscious state, he wrote and drew everything he witnessed, forming a whole page of sketches and two pages of writing, while making 13 distinct observations about Jupiter which were unknown at that time. Here's what he found. The existence of a hydrogen mantle. Storms and wind. Something like a tornado. Temperature inversions. Water and ice crystals in the atmosphere. Magnetic and electromagnetic auroras. A planetary ring. Mountains and a solid core. What about those mountains then? The existence of mountains on Jupiter remains to be proven, largely as the mind can go where even the most powerful probes cannot. Maybe in the future, a mission like the Cassini probe, which in a last suicidal act of discovery took a fiery journey deep into Saturn's atmosphere, could confirm this. For now, Ingo's observations, as well as those of Harold Sherman, who confirmed these details with his own viewing, are all the data we have. Who knows? Maybe the Juice and Europa Clipper missions in the next few years will shed more light on this mystery. Swan's impressions were distributed widely across many scientists and no one could question the validity of his results once the answers started rolling in. And over the years as both the Pioneer and Voyager missions one by one began proving Ingo right, suspense started to build. His observations of Jupiter ignited much excitement in the intelligence community to the extent that another agency reached out towards Ingo. An agency who in Ingo's words was a group so clandestine that it could not be classified as a black project, but as an entirely invisible one. These people asked Ingo to take part in an even stranger mission, one that I'll document here in the future, so be sure to subscribe for that. Have you ever seen a place your body's never been to? Let me know in the comments. And thanks for watching.